Hello and welcome to yet again another perfected healing edition. My name is the Olympian. Now as I've been surfing the webs, going balls deep, I, I reached the absolute rabbit hole guys and uh, and I knew there was no turning back, boy. There was none. I had to commit, you know, I had to strap my boots because it was some fine ass shit, man. I came across this lovely lady. Linda Walton, Walters, Wal Walrus, whatever her name is. And I gotta tell you, I have never seen anyone who talks without actually saying a word. So today, we're gonna put her to the test. I'm the Olympian, and we go for gold, boy. Hello, YouTube family. Sorry I've been away for a few weeks. I no, it's fine, Linda. We understand that you're a busy woman. I mean, you can't even find the time to trim that unbelievable rainforest on your face, man. That is tough love right there. If I had that type of mustache that you have for a brow, shit, I'll be getting all the bitches, lady, sorry. And also the fact that you have the nerve to shoot in a glorious 360p. I don't know what you're doing, alright? You're using a Motorola flip phone or something. I mean, that is controversial in itself. Now, I understand, maybe if it was 4K, we would see some wrinkles. So, yeah, fair play to you. Every day, I have been so full of introducing him to who I am. Now, I've been, my name is Leanna Walden, and I'm um, a sexual energy healer. You know, it's funny how God made us, right? When you tell a lie, and you spewing at you, and you know for a fact that you're talking out of your ass, I mean, that's a gag reflex, like, I'm a sexual hero. What are you, Marvin Gaye? You ain't no Marvin Gaye, man. You're just a fraud, all right? And you second is that you, you're full of introducing yourself to him? What? Full of that? You're full of shit, man. Oh, various topics around sexuality, so please check out my videos if you're interested in threesomes or swinging or um, a bisexuality, um opening up your relationship with your partner, sexually exploring, and my- Ooh, granny, stop it, stop it, I like it. I mean, I've been looking everywhere for her age, guys. YouTube, nothing. Facebook, nothing, man. She keeps her cards really close to her chest, you know, and I, to be honest, man, I despise people like that. You know, in the beginning, you said you were full of yourself. Full. But I don't see that, man. You have to be, you have to be really not shying away from your age, alright? You need to put that shit up there and let that shit hang, alright? So, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to suspect the worst, alright? Let's go for 60. I mean, 60 is, I, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, it suits you pretty well. 360p doesn't really help you state your case. But anyway, isn't this awesome, guys? I mean, for a senior citizen, guys, to come out dropping bombs like this. I mean, who doesn't want to go to your grandma and ask for some sexual advice? Right, because times have changed, but how to pleasure a woman? Some things never change, boy. And she'll be like, oh, Yeah, it was, this was back in 1950. 52 to be exact, and, uh... Your grandfather was a little bit of a bad, and I told him it's all the pussy. Okay, so... He came around in the old best times we had in the call, you know. <laughs> oh. My second relationship is very different. Um, I've done a lot of exploration. I've done a lot of sexual exploration, and I will do more. But, you know, when you are starting out in a relationship, you want to create a base. So let me get this straight, right? You need to create a base, right? A foundation. You need to lay that shit. And just to mess it up in the future. That makes absolutely no sense. You know, it baffles me. You're an expert. I'm just an asshole, right? But why won't you stick true to your word, right? You're the one saying, listen, you need to spice it up. You need to go for some fun time with a ball for some have fun time with it, right? But like you said, you're building the base, right? You're laying the foundation. Why don't you build a base with this type of shit, right? Why don't you call him out and say, hey, listen, why don't we, why don't we go out and have a fun time with a boy? Have a little free something, you know what I'm saying? While we're building this base. You won't do that shit. Why? Because you know it doesn't help. Now you're promoting this type of shit like it's, it's the truth, right? Undisputable truth. Right? That's what you're doing. But you, what you're doing is that you're giving short-term fixes. It's not really fixing anything. It's just making it worse. There's a huge fucking hole in my wall. And I duct tape that shit so hard. And I say, hell yeah, man, I fixed the wall. 
My, I've done a lot of exploration. I've done a lot of sexual exploration. Oh my god. I've done a lot, guys. Like, wow. Like, so many times. Like, wow. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm even allowed back in my hometown. I've done a lot for this world, guys. What have you been doing, hmm? You know, and I'm coming from a lot of experience coming with a partner who has less experience than I do. No shit, Granny. Your body count will be through the roof. You have all the experience. All you need to do is open your legs. I mean, that's not an achievement, right? You probably had the whole hockey team in a halftime break. I mean, right? You would just open your legs and get experience, right? That is tough, man. I mean, one wrinkle on your face represents probably three miles. You you have... Uh, you have... You have a hundred. So that would equals to 300 miles. Yeah, I mean, that is, I mean, it's really impressive, right? I mean, I'm glad you're not my mother. <laughs> I'm glad you're not my grandmother, man. I had to be. And that's the reason, that's the main reason that you won't find a perfect woman superhero, right? Because women don't understand. They don't understand with great vagina comes great responsibility. So I just want to build a base with him and have a security there. Um, but on top of it all, um, my partner is from Brazil. He's from Rio de Janeiro. He's a black man. Damn it, Linda. Stop bragging. Shit, we get it, all right? He has a huge kebab, all right? We get it. Can you please stop bragging the whole video? And on top of it all, he's an absolute crane operator, right? From the favelas. We get it. Doesn't anyone find it strange that she had to tell us the color of her boyfriend? I mean, does this happen a lot? This phenomenon? Does it happen a lot? Does white girls go like, wow, he's really nice, he's a black guy, right? And do black girls go like, wow, he's really nice, he's a white guy? I mean, leave it in the comments if you have ever encountered that phenomenal, right? But I mean, to a point, I can understand, right? Some people lose their minds, man. Some people lose their minds. They can't contain themselves. If a girl comes up and she's like, yeah, my boyfriend, he's really nice, you know, he's sweet and loving, um, his name is Chan. Chen Ho, he's a Chinaman. You know, some people lose their minds. They go like, you know, I done did, did watch a Bruce Lee movie once. And then they, they go what they can remember. It's like, you want water. You put water. You must become water. Right? And they think they're so impressive, right? When when they meet Chen, they go, Chen, you know, I done did, did watch a Bruce Lee movie once, boy. Let me tell you something, boy. When you put water into a cup, it become the cup. You put water into a teapot, it become the teapot. Chen, be water, my friend. And then Chen is just, you know, shaking his head like, yeah, yeah, respect, respect. But he's thinking, look at this sound bitch. So he's here with me in Vancouver. We're staying with my parents. They're an elderly couple and, you know, wanted to be with them. The whole point was to come here to be spend time with them, but also to bring him to see a whole new culture. So the two of us are going through a really interesting <laughs> uh, journey. Like, Stop lying, Linda. Stop it. Stop it. That face that you made, that's a face of not being invited. You using an excuse like, yeah, they're an elderly couple. You know, we had to check in on them. <laughs> right? We're going for some interesting shit. <laughs> like, no, you weren't invited. You invite yourself and then you invite a guest, your spouse. So I'd assume that you, he's your husband. Right? I mean, to bring your husband to meet your pops, you know, and mother. Right? For the very first time. And to be fair, you know, he'll come up and, you know, if he's a man, he'll come and say, listen, dad, you know, I married her and you know, I put a ring on it. And your father just says, you know what, old school man, that's what I like to see, boy. I like to see my old dad. All right, you put a ring on that. Now you take that bitch, you can take my blessing. But don't you ever let that doorknob hit you on your way out. The city's changed a lot. A lot. So I am, I am in a new city, but I'm in still the same city of my soul. So it's been a really, really amazing, amazing journey. Um, so there you have it, guys. Linda Walrus, sex coach motivational healer, all of those good stuff. You know, she's done it all in her lifetime. So let's leave no doubt, right? No, I mean, to be fair, you know, Linda, um, she she looks pretty decent, right? I'm, I'm sure when she was younger, she was probably probably a 7, 8 out of 10. I mean, yeah, sure. Definitely would tap that ass, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. But let me leave you with this saying, guys. It's an old saying. You live by the sword, you die by the sword, 
right? So make sure if you want to do that exploration, sexual exploration and shit like that, you best be sure that's what you want to do because let me tell you something, you can't get it back. As the Olympian, we do what we always been done, Dilla. Dang it, boy. We go for gold. Leave no doubt.